A German factory is taken over for British military production. This was the huge plant erected at Hitler's order for the construction of the German people's car. The Volkswagen factory has an unusual story, beginning as a never-realized Nazi prestige project and relaunched post-war as a civilian car maker under supervision of the British occupation authorities. The factory was transferred in 1949 to the German government and the state of Lower Saxony, which still owns part of the company. By 1955, the millionth Beetle, officially called the Type 1, had rolled off the assembly line in what is now the town of Wolfsburg. The United States became Volkswagen's most important foreign market, peaking at 40% of their production in 1968, equivalent to 563,522 cars. But the diesel emissions scandal that engulfed Volkswagen in recent years dealt a huge blow to its reputation and cost the company an estimated 30 billion US dollars. Of course, the current issue with the diesel engines is certainly nothing to be proud of. We disappointed our customers and the American people, for which I truly, I'm truly sorry and for which I apologize. We at Volkswagen are disappointed that this could happen within the company we love. Volkswagen has rolled out the final version of its first affordable long-range electric car, the ID3, at the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show. Coming in at about $33,000 currently, the ID3 will come in three variants that offer between roughly 205 and 340 miles of range. The auto giant is spinning its prospects on the ID3 as it seeks to bypass a possible recession in Germany and a downturn in the global economy. But the ID3 isn't the company's only first in Frankfurt as Volkswagen has also unveiled new logo at the Frankfurt Motor Show 2019 and the changeover will be implemented step by step in North and South America and will reach global industry from the beginning of 2020. All in all, 171 markets will be affected and about 70,000 logos will be replaced, says Volkswagen.